Salutations, friends and strangers of the interwebs. Welcome back to the channel. I am said Stevie. Today, we're checking out this bad boy right here. This is the Sparrow Knives Fenware Concept Collaboration. Comes in this box uh, with a pretty sweet Sparrow Knife Company uh, logoed sticker. It has a uh, pouch warranty information, and there's a wiping cloth in there as well. They did me a favor and printed the information on the uh, box. As I mentioned, this is the Fenware designed by Greg Schaub. Schaub? Schaub. I'm sorry, Greg. I don't know how to pronounce your last name, and I apologize for that. Uh, this is the variant with a stonewashed uh, CPM S35VN blade, black and blue G10, and titanium uh, scales. Uh, 3.49 inch blade. I've had this uh, for about three or four days now, and it's freaking sweet. I'm really digging it. Taking a closer look, you see the uh, harpoon uh, shaped uh, blade there, full flat grind, nice crowned uh, spine there, uh, stonewash finish. On the show side of the blade, you have the concept logo, model number, and steel marking. A T8 pivot t6 body screws although they're the button head style they are countersunk which is a nice touch g10 although i thought it looked a little uh, shiny in the pictures actually is a nice matte uh, finish to it dimpled for some nice uh, grippy texture nice finish to the titanium lanyard hole uh, for you lanyard folks uh, open construction no backspacer and then you have a non-reversible, uh, fairly deep carry, uh, milled 3D titanium uh, pocket clip. Uh, nice retention, goes in and out of pocket really well. And then on the uh, clip side, you have the Sparrow Knife logo, Greg's name, and Fenware. Uh, this is a liner lock with a uh, steel lock bar insert. Uh, nice lock up, uh, easy to access the uh, liner. Buttery smooth rating on cage ceramic bearings. Came uh, centered, no blade play. The detent is dialed in really well for all the deployment methods. Uh, so uh, you have thumb stud and front flipper. Rockets out using your thumb. Rockets out using the middle finger. And then very snappy on the front flip as well. And even for you lefties, although it's not reversible pocket clip, still easy to manipulate uh, left-handed. See if I can front flip it. Ah, kind of, sort of, not really. Um, uh, ergos are money. Uh, fits in my hand uh, really well, even when I'm not choked uh, up. It still fits uh, in the hand. Uh, nice forward finger choil. Uh, thumb ramp. Uh, my one little gripe, I'd say, with this knife, um, and I seem to be griping more and more about jimping, done really well on the uh, face of the front flipper. But I'd like to see that extended into uh, the uh, thumb ramp there just to lock it in a little bit better. It's a little uh, slippery. Other than that, though, I got really no complaints about this knife. Picked it up for $159 on sparrowknife.com. I don't think they're available there anymore, maybe. Uh, but there are uh, some variants of this uh, still available on White Mountain Knives. Um, this one is sold out at the moment, so if it's something you're after, you'd have to turn on uh, your notifications, add it to your wish list. Uh, there's a look at some of the other specs uh, for you to read, so I don't have to. Although, I'm noticing that says 3.48 inch blade. That says 3.49 inch blade. Somebody's fibbing. I don't know who. Either way, uh, doesn't matter too much. Uh, and if you do decide to pick one of these up, it'll be linked in the description. You can also uh, support the homie Mattis Faction. Use his uh, discount code KSTR10. Save yourself a little bit of money. Yep, Keister10. Anywho, uh, that's it. Wanted to keep this quick, dirty, in a hurry. Uh, as my uh, douche brother, Brandon Thrasher, would say. Try to keep some videos under five minutes. Leave my long-winded rambles to the maintenance and disassembly videos, which will be coming very soon, uh, if not immediately, following uh, this uh, video. Let me know what you guys think. That's all I got for you. And until the next one, I appreciate you mofos. Talk to you later. Deuces!